Welcome back to the Olmstead Workshop. I'm Jordan Olmstead, and if you're wondering what's with this hat and headlamp, it's about 9 o'clock on December 9th, and I'm hanging Christmas decorations. So my girlfriend's really into decorating. I'm not so much, so I had to come up with something that we both like and enjoy. So I took a look around my shop, which, as you can see, is a big mess full of different projects and various degrees of progression, to say the least. But then it came to me. I got an idea. An awful idea. I got a wonderful, awful idea. I started by spraying some Super 77 spray adhesive on the back of a template I found online. Now this template wasn't the greatest since it had a lot of excess information and some of the lines weren't as clean as I would have liked. So I ended up redrawing the whole thing on the computer. As you can see with this thin paper, it was difficult to get it to lay flat once it had the adhesive on it. This was just half inch plywood, so it wasn't too much work for the jigsaw. However, with all these complicated angles and small nooks and crannies, it did take way too long. But eventually I had something that started resembling a Grinch. I scored all the template lines with an X-Acto knife before removing it from the Grinch so I could later fill them in with a Sharpie before coating them with a matte white paint so the color would take better. With the spray paint dry, I took a black acrylic paint and started going over my previous Sharpie lines. The plan was to put my color paint over the top of these lines and just continue to redo them layer by layer to maintain that thick, dark line as that's really what sold the cartoon look of the finished piece. With the details all being finished up, it was time to start laying down some colored paint. I used some samples of Valspar paint that I picked up in the local big box store. I ended up going with sassy green and quite red, which I felt was appropriate for the Grinch. I started by cutting in next to my white sections and didn't really concern myself too much with covering up the details as I was gonna do another layer of black acrylic on top of the colored paint. All in all, I ended up doing about three coats of color to get it to cover. With the colored paint dry, it was now time to go over the whole thing in some Krylon acrylic clear coat to really help protect it and make those colors pop. It was now time to attach his arm, which really gives this stand up a great bit of depth. I ended up doing this with just a couple of brad nails. With the Grinch completed, and a garden stake attached to his back, it was now time to start getting the house ready for his grand debut. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this build come together, and if you'd like to get a copy of this template for yourself, please check the description down below. Once again, I'm Jordan Olmstead, and this is the Olmstead Workshop. We'll see you again next time.